Hey guys, Jack here, and today I want to talk about my print on demand plans and me moving forward after getting terminated from merch by Amazon. Um, yesterday I posted a video regarding my termination on merch by Amazon. Uh, I posted a design that was not too friendly and did go against their terms of service, and I got greedy. I kept it up. Basically, I was in the wrong. I got terminated, and I did lose a big opportunity for myself in print on demand. And I think today I just want to show you guys and tell you guys what I'm going to be doing moving forward and how I'm still planning to make print on demand a large source of income. And the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is that I have three listings on Etsy. I just posted them over there, just kind of see how Etsy works. And well, I made two sales in three days, having three listings up. And the funny part is um, the designs I actually have on Etsy were related to the designs that got me terminated on Amazon. However, on Etsy, um, I'm, I'm going through a third party printer and they don't really have as strict content policies. So the same design works over there. Um, I don't have to cheat the keyword system because their stuff like baby it's COVID outside is allowed on Etsy and there's plenty of other places where that's allowed, but Amazon, it is not, and I tried to cheat the keyword system, so that is my fault. If you want to know more about that, you can check out my video yesterday about my um, Merch by Amazon account termination. And pretty much moving forward, I want to start uploading more to Etsy because I'm noticing Etsy organically ranks very, very well, and they um, post your listings if they're selling on their own website, they advertise for you. And if you guarantee free shipping, you rank better, and I do guarantee free shipping. However, on my two Etsy sales, I had the profit set pretty low, and I had free shipping on, so I actually ended up losing a dollar on the two sales. But I learned my lesson. I upped the profit, so I actually make money, even if the shipping's a bit much. And yeah, that was something I didn't know, but now I've learned. I did make two sales still, however, so that's pretty awesome. And yeah, I just think that's so exciting. Um, try not to be too hard on myself of uh, getting banned or merch by Amazon because I know I can still continue to make success for myself as long as I don't give up. Uh, now would be a really good time, a really easy time to give up, but I'm not going to. And I want to encourage you guys to keep posting designs, keep working towards building print on demand. Even if you're not accepted the merch by Amazon, Redbubble, Tee Public, even Teespring, um, and Etsy are great ways to make money and people have done it before they have made full-time incomes off these singular sites so there's nothing stopping you from doing that too just trial and error keep on putting in work and the more th designs you post the more things you put up the better your chances are and the more opportunities that you have to you know be seen by people in the marketplace and actually make sales so i just say keep trying keep seeing what works for you what kind of designs what kind of niches you'll get into a process where you can kind of get a feel for how things work and i'm still doing that now but i'm getting more of a general idea of what kind of designs i can post you know how i can find trends and niches and i've shared some of that content on the channel but as i learn more i'm going to share more with you guys and yeah moving forward i'm going to be continuing to post 20 designs a day to redbubble and t public i'm trying to get 50 designs up every day but um, the way T Public works is once you hit your max upload limit, you have 24 hours after you hit it to post your designs. So it's hard to keep on a consistent schedule for that when the time changes about an hour every day if I'm quick with it. However, Etsy seems like a great opportunity and I want to encourage you guys to try it out too. It is a bit more work and it definitely is not as simple as Redbubble and Teespring and Merch by Amazon, but it is definitely a good source of traffic because they have over 200 million monthly visitors and your your listings will rank organically with tags and a good title. You can keyword stuff it. Um, that's what I did and I'm already getting people to my three listings. Three listings and people are seeing them like crazy and I just think that's amazing. Someone already bought one of them, and I only have three listings up. Compared to Teespring, I have 1,600 listings up, and I get about the same amount of views over there. So that's saying a lot, and I just want to encourage you guys to keep with your print-on-demand journeys. Maybe stick along with mine, you know? If you want to subscribe, 
you can follow my journey. I'm going to be posting videos pretty much daily. Um, not all videos are going to be on my print on demand journey, but majority of them will be probably because I really like keeping you guys updated. I really like documenting my progress. I think it's very helpful. And if you can document your progress in some way, I think that's great too. Even if you're just writing uh, your results down in a spreadsheet from month to month or some way of looking back at it. The great part is most of these analytics are recorded for you. So you can look back as far as you'd like, especially with like Google Analytics and your sales history. So that's something to note too. Just check if you're ever feeling down, check back on your sales history or check on your analytics and remember that this is a long term thing. So the more designs you have up, the more chances. And it takes a while to get a lot of designs up. So if you can do something every day towards that, that's going to help you a lot. And yeah, that's just my tidbit of advice for you guys. Uh, I'm still hanging in there, you know, just working towards my print on demand businesses. Even though Merch by Amazon is gone, that's okay because there's plenty of more opportunities. And I want you guys to know that I'm not done. So stay subscribed, stay tuned. We're going to be making print on demand a uh, successful business even without Merch by Amazon. And if you guys like this video, please leave a like. It means a lot. Just your like means the world. And thank you so much for viewing this video because to be honest, I'm just super excited to see where we'll be in a month from now after all this has happened. And I'm just glad you guys are watching. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.